If you have been following the channel for any number of time, then you will know that I love retro gaming. In fact, as a kid, I grew up not with an Xbox, but with a classic NES and then SNES. And because of that, I love any modern tech that feels retro. So when Devoom set out the Ditto, I just had to make a video. Yo guys, is Luke, and this is the Devoom Ditto. So obviously this is a bit of a nuanced product. In fact, when I first got my hands on it, people kept asking me what it was for. And the long and short of it is it's a retro speaker with a retro twist. Earlier in the summer, I did a video on Devoom's Timebox Evo, which I'll leave in the card above if you haven't seen it already. But basically the Ditto is a Bluetooth speaker that carries over the same software experience from the Timebox in an old school computer-like product. When I first opened the Ditto, it came in a hard shell carrying case with a dedicated handle, which I thought was pretty cool. Their presentation here is definitely on point. Now, right out of the case, you will notice that there are some physical keys on the speaker, and these are actually mechanical keyboard Cherry MX Blue-like switches. I'm not exactly sure if they are Cherry MX switches, but they're incredibly similar. Coupled with that is a joystick on the right that acts as an enter key. And then finally, the screen is this rounded tube TV style pixel art display that simply looks amazing. Over on the back, there is an output for the sub, and on the top is the speaker itself. It's also powered via USB-C, and there is an input for a micro SD card if you want to play music directly from the device. Now, in my review of the Timebox Evo, I was pretty disappointed with the audio quality coming from the speaker, especially since that was its only dedicated function apart from the Rexho pixel art. But with the Ditto, it's a different story. I was actually pretty impressed with the audio quality coming from such a small device. Now, do keep in mind, this isn't going to compare to any premium speaker brand like Bose or Audio-Technica, but it's still pretty decent. The mids and highs are clear throughout the volume range, and the bass is where this speaker really excels. Because of the dedicated sub output on the back, this speaker can pump out a lot of low end for such a small speaker, and this really just adds to the overall audio experience. All in all, I'm very happy with the audio quality and think it's a definite step up from the Timebox Evo. Okay, with that out of the way, let's talk about my actual experience. And to be honest, it's pretty awesome. Now, firstly, you'll notice that the tube TV style display that I mentioned earlier, and this coupled with the mechanical switches just makes for a really cool experience. The switches are backlit, which just adds to the overall flair, but the selling point of this device is the display. Devon boasts 16 million colors, and while I don't really have any way to verify that, I can say that the screen looks amazing. The software here again is Devoom's custom OS, which you can connect to your phone for even more control over art designs, notifications, music, and even some pixel art games. The dedicated app also gives you full control over custom animations, color, and even things like reminders and audio recordings should you want to do that. But honestly, the best part about this device is how it looks. The classic old school PC design really lets all the custom pixel art really shine through, and it's one of my favorite things that about this product. In fact, I featured it in my desk setup video right here as it's one of the coolest things I have on my desk. Now, in terms of battery life, the Dido lasts for around 8 hours of continuous use, and it's charged via USB-C. Now, I would recommend that if you're going to be using this device on your desk as a permanent gadget, then I would probably leave it plugged in as charging it over and over can get a bit redundant. But overall, the battery life is decent, and for a product this nuanced, I don't think it's something to gripe over. Now, the only thing I would have liked to see is the inclusion of an auxiliary outport as there were in previous products, but alas, there is no one such here. Now, the Ditto does come in at $89, and while this might seem expensive to some, I do think it's worth it. Devum did a great job here of presentation, sound quality, and overall experience, and I think that this is a reasonable price given its value proposition. So what do I think about the Ditto? Well, honestly, it's pretty awesome. Now this product isn't for everyone, and while it is a speaker, its main selling point is its unique design and feature set. If you're not really into retro games or desk gadgets, then this product probably isn't for you. But if you're like me and love any tech that gives a nostalgic feel, then the Devum Ditto might just be the device to get. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Big thanks to Divum for sending this device out. If there are any other similar products you would like me to check out, don't hesitate to let me know down in the comments below. Make sure to hit that like button if you liked the video, and if you didn't, make sure to hit that disc button like twice. Anyways, this is Luke with Techno Minute, and until next time, peace.